Hello everyone, this is Etherint from Clan ONA, also known as Nonprofit from the Minecraft forums. Uh, today I am here to show you a tutorial on uh, a variable delay cannon ignition system. So this is a timer for a cannon that is a variable delay. The last delay system I did, I came up pretty much with on my own, except for a little help from a guy uh, named a Neo Irony on the Minecraft forums. Uh, this system was uh, basically designed by myself, but then uh, adapted by Etho. So, uh, what it is, is I, with my last system, you had a variable delay, but those delays in and of themselves were static. So you only had four to choose from. You had 16, 24, 30, and 32, I believe it was. Uh, well, now uh, we can go from any number, any even number, between 8 and 38. Um, but before we get into the tutorial itself, let me explain a little bit about redstone torches and the delay that I'm talking about. When I say a delay, this is what I mean, okay? Uh, in every second in the game is 16 ticks. Uh, TNT ignites in 5 seconds, which is 80 ticks. Uh, each torch is 2 ticks. Every time a torch goes on and off like that that's two ticks okay so e basically for a, a, a torch to turn on send the signal and turn off that's one tick or, uh, or two ticks rather but I call it torch ticks or delay so it's one delay for that okay now what this means is that in torch ticks Eight ticks, eight torch ticks is one second. So in other words, 16 ticks in a second, uh, eight torch ticks in a second. So if you want to delay something by one second, you want to add eight torches between the input and the output. If you want to delay something by just under five seconds, you want to delay it with 40, or 38 actually, or 39. Uh, 40 is a little risky, uh, because basically the TNT the propellant in the cannon is exploding at the same exact moment as your TNT is dropping, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, uh, but it could be. Uh, I, I haven't. I, I think I've tested it once, and I believe it's possible to fire TNT with 40 delay, but um, I'm satisfied with 38, and I think it's a little safer. And plus, you're not getting an air burst. It's actually dropping on the pad before firing. Uh, okay, so that said, uh, this works by taking your base delay, which is your 8, and then adding whatever number you decide to it. So 16, 4. Uh, so 16 plus 4 is 22, plus 8, that's 30 delay. Now, what I'm going to do, I, I would show you down below there, but this is my wiring, and it wraps around the cannon. It's a little bit of a pain, so instead I'm going to, I have a display set up over here, and I'm going to explain to you on this. And what this is, is uh, basically that timer down there laid out in a linear direction so that you can see everything exposed. Uh, if you do not understand uh, how to do vertical wiring or you do not understand AND gates, I suggest you look up some tutorials. Uh, I will explain a little bit here and I will explain a couple important key points, but I'm going to mostly assume that you understand how to wire. Uh, so the first thing I should say is that this is our uh, our um, control panel here. Sorry, I got stumbled up there. This is our control panel, and what you want to ensure with this, uh, you can wire it however you want, but what you want to ensure is that the signals don't cross. Uh, as you can see, uh, I have things laid out below and above so that the signals do not cross, and this is, you can use torches to do this. Uh, the only thing that you have to be wary of is you have to use an even amount of torches, um, or not necessarily an even amount, but you have to make sure that the same out the output is the same no matter which signal you you flip. So in other words, if uh, at the end of this signal is positive, then you want all of them positive. If the out if the output on this is negative, you want all of them negative. So either on or off, you want them all the same. It doesn't matter which they are as long as they're the same. So either you're going to use all odd or all even amount of torches between. It doesn't matter how many or, or if there are torches on, on the on the control panel here because uh, it's not igniting the TNT and it's not it, it has nothing to do with the actual timer itself. 
all it's doing is toggling the AND gates on or off, okay? Now, about AND gates. AND gates are basically three blocks like this, a torch on each end on top, a torch in the middle on the side, uh, redstone connecting the two, or the three rather, I should say, and then inputs in the back of these two, and then an output in the front here. Now, a gate, when I say a gate is open, I mean it is open when this torch on the right, or the torch from the control panel, is turned off. As you can see, with independent of this signal here on the side, uh, this, sig this signal is still being sent. If I turn this off, that light comes on. It doesn't allow that signal to be sent anymore because this redstone comes on. So that's about all I need to explain about AND gates. If you need any more explained, uh, you should look up a tutorial on them. There's a lot of great information on the forums, uh, on YouTube, and also on the Wikipedia. So uh, now we're going to get into the, the, the routes that these circuits take and why they are the way they are. So right now we have it set up so that uh, all the gates are open. Uh, let's not do it that way first. I'm going to take you through the default signal. If all the gates are closed, this is what happens, okay? And this is it's very important that you wire it this way, okay? You can you can change the direction that stuff goes. You can uh, put it underground, above ground. You can stack things. It doesn't matter. But um, what does matter is that the wires themselves. Uh, they come out of the input and they split and then one goes to an AND gate and the other goes to what I call a delay circuit which is essentially just torches stacked like this either vertically or you could do repeaters in a circle or you could do a tower of uh, vertical wiring it doesn't matter if you don't know how to do vertical wiring um, I recommend looking that up otherwise it takes a lot a lot more space uh, to do a chain of repeaters and my cat is saying hello so um, YouTube say hello to my kitty um, so essentially output here or input here um, we're going two different directions and then after the delay circuit and after the AND gate those signals reconnect they split up again and again they reconnect they split up again and again and they reconnect so basically you want to do that with every set you basically branch out and then you reconnect and split out to um, another AND gate and another delay circuit. Now about these delay circuits. This is very important and I recommend writing this down. Uh, for two delay you need four. You need four torches. That's four torches down there. For four delay you need six. For eight delay you need ten. For sixteen delay you need eighteen. So this is eighteen torches down and up. Okay? And she's just crying and crying. So anyhow, we're gonna follow this signal She's up in my lap now trying to get petted. Uh, so for this signal, we're going to go through here. It's not going to go through this AND gate because this AND gate is closed. It's going to go through this delay circuit. This delay circuit is 4, so it's going to pick up 4 delay. And then it's going to come out here. It's going to try to go to this AND gate and to this. Again, it can't go through the AND gate because the AND gate's closed, so it's going to pick up 6. 6 and 4 is 10. It's going to come out here. Again, AND gate's closed. It's going to go through this one. Picks up another 10. Again, AND gate's closed. It's going to go through this one. It's going to pick up 18. So 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 18 is 38. That is our maximum delay. Now we're going to show you how it works with our minimum delay. Okay, so we're going to turn all these off. And just to show you with our maximum delay here how long exactly it takes to get to the door, uh, you go 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000 right there just before five seconds it gets to the door now I'm going to show you with our minimum delay and I'm going to show you why it works that way okay we're going to try again 1 1,000 even before I started saying 2 1,000 the door open so eight torches is one second 38 just under five okay so now we're going to follow this signal through with the AND gates open okay so we go our in, we're going to turn our input on. Oh. It's going to go through this AND gate, or it's, it's actually going to come here, and it's going to hit this AND gate and this delay circuit simultaneously. Now, since there are two torches in the important part of the signal, then this is two, each AND gate is two delay. Since this is four delay and this is two delay, then this signal is going to come out of the AND gate faster than it comes out of the delay circuit 
which means that it's going to make its way to the, the, the next delay circuit and the next AND gate faster than this signal would. And that's going to be the same story with each one. So we're going to pick up two delay here, two delay here, two delay here, two delay here, four times two is eight. So we're going to get a total of eight delay, which is one second. Now we're going to try the tricky part, which is, let's say three seconds. Uh, three seconds is 24 delay. We're going to take 8 plus 16. I'm going to close all these. And we're going to leave 16 open. So 16 plus 8 is 24. Now we're going we're gonna to take it through the life of the signal again. Actually, first I'll show you that it's 3 seconds. We're going to go 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4. See, right, right before I started to say 4, 1,000, the door opened. Okay, so now we're going to take you through the route of the signal one more time. And again, this works with any num any combination numbers. I'll do a combination next. Um, so the signal comes out. It hits this AND gate. AND gate's closed. Has to get four. So four delay. AND gate's closed. Another six delay for a total of ten. AND gate is closed. Goes through another, which took another ten. So a total of twenty. And then it goes to this AND gate. Says, ah, this one's open. So twenty-two. I say 24, should be 24. One second here. 4 plus 6 is 10. Plus 8, or plus 10 is 20. Plus 2 is 22. Hmm. Is that, is that, did I do my math wrong here? Last one, 16. Plus our base, let's see. Oh, I see. It went the other way around. So it went 8. Yeah, that's what it is. I have it backwards. Okay, I'm sorry. My bad. This is 2 plus 4 is 6. Plus 8 is 14. Plus 8, which is the default, is going to be 22. So if I wanted to make it 24, I'd go the other way. So here we go. Let's go one more time. We go 2. It's 2. 4. Six, or 2 plus 2 is 4, plus another 2 is 6, plus 18 is 24, and then this signal, since this AND gate's closed, it's going to go through this one, it's going to hit the door in 3 seconds. Let's try it one more time. This time we're going to do uh, slightly different here. Let's go with, um, let's see, what's 4 seconds? 4 seconds would be 4 times, s four times 8. So 32, so we want to get to 32 delay. So we got 16 uh, plus 8 is uh, 24, plus another 8, which is our base, is 32. Okay, so let's try this now. So the signal comes out here. This AND gate's open. It's going to pick up 2. This AND gate's open. It's going to pick up another 2. So for a total of 4 plus 10, this is our 10 gate here, our, or our 10 delay. So 4, 14 plus another 18, 14 plus 18 is 32. And just to make sure that this works properly, should be four seconds, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, and there it goes, the door opens. Okay, so I hope you guys understand, uh, it's a binary based variable delay system, so you can get any delay between eight seconds and 38 seconds, or uh, eight ticks, eight torch ticks and 38 torch ticks, so anywhere between one second and just under five seconds. Again, I'd like to thank Etho, and I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please uh, rate and subscribe, and uh, uh, sorry if I had to rush through a little bit of this, I hope you understand it. Please watch it again and again. If you don't, uh, it is fairly simple once you get the basics down. Uh, so again, my name is Etherimp from Clan ONA, or also known as Nonprofit from the uh, Minecraft forums. If you don't understand anything, feel free to contact me and I'd be happy to explain it to you. Uh, thank you. Goodbye.